This is Carl from Play By Here, uh, and I want to do a uh, tutorial just explaining what the number system is. We talk about that a lot as the best thing since sliced bread, especially if you want to learn to play uh, well in a short amount of time. But what is it when we say number system? Okay, we know that uh, when you make chords, they have to be based on a scale. If I'm doing the C scale, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is one. Or do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. We know in the key of C, you play C chords, some kind of C chord, depending on uh, what the song is. Some kind of D chord, some kind of E chord, some kind of F chord, some kind of G chord, some kind of A chord, depending on what the song is. Some kind of B chord. And of course, back to C. All right. Now, some chords are used more than other keys. Some uh, other chords. Uh, some chords you see them in practically every song. Some you see only in a blue moon. So the 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 number system is about for whatever style you have, whether it's country, whether it's traditional gospel, whether it's contemporary gospel, whether it's pop. There are certain chords that are used over and over and over again more than all the rest put together. If you memorize those, then you can play a lot of songs in your genre. You've already got 50 to 75 percent of the song, sometimes the whole song, just by memorizing these chords. Okay, so in the age we are now with, uh, with praise and worship, is mainly uh, modern praise and worship, uh, there are certain chords that you're going to do over and over again. And if you memorize those at the beginning, whenever a new song comes up, you already have half the song memorized, right? If somebody just says the number, you know what chord to play. Wow, that's what's so fantastic about this. It comes from Nashville Number System in Tennessee, when they had all the Opry's and they'd have one artist come after another. They know that in country, it's... Uh, 80% of your of your chords are major, minor, and dominant. So, since that's the case, all they would do is say a number. Uh, if we're in the if the song's in the key of C, you say four, and you know it's the four major. If it's in if it, they say six, you know it's an A minor. If it's one, you know it's a C major. All right, so. But in uh, modern praise and worship, contemporary gospel, more often than any other key, it's D flat. So if I go to D flat, if I played it one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one are the same. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So if you hit this, this is your, uh, your, your, the key that you're in, your root. Most of the time you're going to play a D flat major but you're going to invert it. You're going to play that more than any other chord, so you memorize that. Okay, next you would go to three, and the reason why I'm going to three because of the beginning of songs, the most of the time, uh, well, a good, a, good, uh, a good amount of time when you're starting at the beginning, you can do to the one, and then you go to three, which is really your one chord, with a two added. Whenever you have major chords, when you add two, it makes it a little thicker, a little more complex, a little more interesting. So, so it's really D flat, D flat chord again. Now when I move here, this is called alternate bass. If I play D flat, most of the time I play a D flat in the bass, but I can also play F in the bass, I can also play A flat in the bass because it's in the chord. Those are called alternate bass, which give you a little variety. If I say any uh, uh, terms that you're not familiar with, go to the Play By Here site and put it in alternate bass or, um, or uh, add to, and, uh, uh, and you'll see other videos that also explain this if you need a little bit more study on it. So that's why I'm going kind of fast. If you any term that you want, uh, if I don't go into it enough, or you have other questions about it, put it in that search box, and uh, and you'll see some more detailed explanations. Okay, so here's the one chord. 
even though this is still D flat with an alternate bass, we, we call it three. That's just what we call it, all right? Which is telling you that you're making that switch. That's your three chord, which is D flat with the E flat. Now, you leave the, I mean, I'm sorry, a D flat chord, yeah, with E flat added. Now, since you've got an F in your bass, you take it out of your right hand and use this instead. Okay? All right? Your four chord is a F sharp major ninth. All right? It's got a kind of a mellow sound because major seventh is, sounds mellow. If it's a D flat chord, and you drop to that, that makes it mellow. And the, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, the ninth make, gives it a, a thicker sound, a more complex song, or a, a sound, or a jazz sound. Okay, your five chord is a A flat eleventh. One, three, five, seven. If you would like more lessons like that, subscribe to us on YouTube and click the bell button beside subscribe if you would like to be notified when we put up new lessons. If you are really serious about what we do, join our Play By Hair website. Take a look at it by clicking the link below. Alright, we'll see you online.